Okay, Troy, when I saw your combings, uh, you know, I lived in my own little world here for a long time on this boat since 70, and when I did this repair, I was not, I was assuming it was just me. But when I saw your boards with the identical problem, I'm assuming, and I know for a fact, because I could see your boards, that's missing a hole at the very, at the very end here for support. Um, here's the crack right here, what you're talking about. But the thing is, these blocks of wood here are critical. Use them 5200, I made some new blocks, 5200, and to reinforce it, okay, the screw is like two and a half inches long. It goes at an angle down through that block and into this solid fiberglass here on both sides. This is all cracked up because for years I did not use anything for holding the uh, travel to here in place and when it, it when we uh, came about this would slam against the stops so I added this uh, little system here oh, by the way there's my plaque installed today temporarily I still got to glue it but uh, yeah if you can take your boards and move them up here this is a weak point there's a crack on this side when they cut the a, a 90 like this, it creates a weak spot right there. If there's any flex in this board, it's going to split just like yours did up like this. We have almost identical combings on this that you have. And there was no screw, here it is on this side, holding this together. As they say, that goes down all the way down into this meat. Long screw, but it, it supports this. I, I don't know what they, they, they were thinking when they built these boats and did not put a screw there. But it's evident by your boards and mine, two, two for two, I'm calling first generation boats. It needs to be reinforced. I got uh, 5200. By the way, 5200 is your friend with teak. It is the only caulking I found that will stick. Uh, when I removed these combings, there was like a gallon of of, I don't know, 4200 holding it on. I did not see the need for that. The screws, there's plenty of screws to hold this thing together. You know, tight. It's not going anywhere, so I run a bead. In fact, 5200 is uh, 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 glue. It's an it, it, adhesive, not caulking. But when used as caulking, all of its strength goes away. The uh, oils of the teak, your Semco, your cleaners, all that softened 5200. I use it for caulking, as you can see on the outside here, to keep water out. I don't need to keep water in. I'm not worried about the inside here. There's no caulking on the inside here at all. But these little blocks of wood are critical to keep water out. And the 5200, after a few years, about eh, four or five years, it'll peel right off in one piece and replace it. Make sure you use tape when you're using the 5200. Tape off your wood. Finger it, then pull the tape right off. But uh, there you have it. I had to reinforce the combings from that crack. And that crack has been the same now, I don't know, when I did this. I've repaired, repaired everything on this boat more than once. So, there she is.